What is going on, everybody? Hope everyone is good out there. I'm gonna hop right into this one. And I just got another text message. A buddy of mine, it was his birthday the past couple of, I think it was maybe three, four days ago. And, you know, I didn't hear from him, it's all good. And then I text him again today, just like, hey, saying what's up, what's going on? And boom, he's just like, yeah, man, I fell back into my vices. I'm trying to get back out of it. And I'm like, damn, now I'm not gonna go into what his vices are, but he has a lot of them. And a lot of them have a slippery, slippery, slippery slope. And I've seen the strongest of the strongest people get sucked into it. And it's a rap for them, right? They just, it's hard for them. It's hard for them to bounce back. And it got me thinking. Sorry guys, I'm just in this mic. One, one take. <laughs> and it just got me thinking like, damn man, you know, this is why, and this is, he's the type of person successful. I mean, has everything on the exterior. You would think like, okay, he's good career, family, the whole nine yards, but these demons, this dark side, these vices, it, it's, it's tough. This is why I'm always talking about there is no rest day. There is no easing up. That's why I'm a firm believer in constantly, constantly, constantly moving forward, progressing, being a bit aggressive with it in everything, everything that I do and everything that you guys are doing, you have to approach it with a sense of urgency, with a sense of, you know, this unrelentless energy to keep going and keep developing and keep getting stronger mentally, physically, emotionally, financially, all of that, all of the above, all of the above, because even the strongest of the strongest, if you allow your weaknesses to stay your weaknesses and you don't do some self some self-actualization and some real, you know, have some real internal monologues with yourself about, okay, you gotta look in the mirror and say, where am I lacking? How do I get better? This is what can happen to you. Because prior to this, he was doing good. He was clean. He wasn't rocking with any of that shit. And I was real happy to hear that. And, you know, but so much I could do. It's like, I feel, you know, anytime I hear scenarios like that, I'm always the one to try to like hop in and like make sure you're good and make sure things are okay with you and check on you because I come from that situation. I know tons of people from back home who got strung out on, on something, you know, and a vice isn't just drugs. Like you can have a vice when it comes to gambling. You can have a vice when it comes to these women. You can have a vice, you know, when it comes to, you know, any, anything, anything that can completely take you away from your path and suck you in and keep you there is a vice. You know, back in the day, my vice was drinking. I used to really get down with the drinks and that's why I made the decision like, look, I'm not gonna touch it anymore. And I've been, you know, over 10 years, 12 years at this point with no drinks. Because I remember there was a time when I used to drink and I used to get super busy. And then once you start to drink, it doesn't end with the drink. Now you gotta get all these accessories to go with it and then it turns into a whole other thing. So, and I constantly, constantly, make sure I stay on a path that I will never touch. It doesn't matter. And I, once again, it's a non-negotiable thing. It doesn't matter what's going on. This special event, so I'm, you know, this person's pregnant or I'm getting, it doesn't matter. I still stay on the course with it, you know? And my, my friend that I'm talking about, he would tell me like, yeah, you know, he used to get really wild when it came to, came to the substances. He used to get really crazy with it. You know, and I know a lot of people, same thing. You know, they would get on, on the powder, you know, they would get on that, on that speed, and then before you know it, now a drink comes with it. Now they gotta get a girl, now it's this, now it's that. And before you know it, okay, the sun is coming up in an hour. It's like that. So when I'm always talking about, guys, have your non-negotiable actions when you start. Start your day, begin your day. You know, throughout the day, you have non-negotiable actions. There are things that, hey, regardless of what's going on, where I'm at, I got to stay on point. I have to stay razor sharp focused that's, and that stays in line with my purpose and my mission. And your purpose and your mission, I've said in numerous videos, just turn off everything and just listen internally. It'll give it to you. And 
it hit me when I got this text message because we were just talking about, hey, he was doing good. We were just having this discussion that, hey, he was telling me like, man, I've been, I've been clean for quite a while and I plan on keeping, keeping it like that. And then to get this message, I'm like, damn, you know, I don't know the full story. You know, I, I hit him back. I'm trying to call him. He's not answering his phone. But it's a situation when I tell you guys, look, non-negotiable, stay on point. There is no letting up on this. I don't let up on anything that I do. Because when you let up, when you feel you can just take that little break, you feel, hey, I don't have to do it or I don't want to do it. I'm tired. I don't want to do it. I've been recording all day. I don't want to do it. It's a Sunday. This is when, and I'm not even just you know, referring to my friend I'm talking about. I'm talking about in general. This is when your vices, your weaknesses start showing the little crack in your armor. And this is where things start to crawl in there to take you off your game. And it's going to come in the form of your deepest, darkest desires. It's going to come in the form of something that can make you even weaker, whatever it may be. But if you stay on point, if you stay, and mind you, when I'm talking to you guys about this, I'm talking to myself also, making sure I stay on point, you know, making sure there's certain things that, and certain things that I talk about on this channel, certain things I don't talk about, but I have to always make sure. Number one, because if I'm talking to you about it, I got to lead by example, period. You guys aren't going to listen to me. You guys aren't going to believe me if I'm not leading by example with what I'm talking about, because then it's just smoke. I have my vices back in the day. I told you one. Yeah, I used to yeah, I used to love to drink and I used to have a high tolerance. But then I would get over that 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 level and then things would start to get crazy. And I was just like, yeah, this this, this isn't going to work. I lost a day. And for what? I don't even remember half of it. That's crazy. So my non-negotiable action with it is, hey, no, I don't want to drink. I don't want anything. Give me water or give me some cranberry juice with crushed ice. I'm good. And you could put a straw in it, whatever. I don't care. I had other vices, plenty of other vices. And I had to say to myself, okay, where is this getting me? What is the outcome of this? What? Because I get to hang with so-called friends and because half of them aren't even, I don't even talk, not even half. All of them, they used to tell me, hey, just come through, come out, blah, blah, blah. They're nowhere to be found anyway. Nowhere to be found. I don't know. They stopped hitting me up. And I have nothing to show for it. So I make sure I stay on a certain path that's in line. And I keep certain actions that are in line with my purpose and my goals that I'm striving for. And people who truly know me, they know. Don't even bother asking them if he wants to drink. Don't bother asking him if he wants to come out. You know, to this spot, he's not coming. And it's absolutely right. And people who know me, they know. And people who I truly consider a friend, they know. He's on his way, doing his thing. He's not trying to hear any of that right now. Don't offer him it. Just let him do his thing. And same thing with, with, with how I see other people. There's certain things that I'm not going to bother him about. There's certain things I'm going to be on their case about all the time. Because I see a certain greatness in them. I see a certain a certain caliber of a person, of a man in them. And it's like, man, I, I see you're gonna be, if you break this code, you're gonna be phenomenal. And that's why I'd be on the case with certain people. If I'm not on your case, then I mean, I don't really rock with you. But I say all that, I just wanna do this video. Once again, this is off the top of the head. I just got the text message. I was just like, man, see, this has to be known. I have to talk about this. People have to know what's going on. Whether it's you going through it, you know somebody, if it's you that's going through it and you're battling, like you want to, you know, pick up the, the pipe, you want to pick, you want to put something up your nose, you want to put something in your vein, you want to put something down your throat, you want to put something in someone else's throat, like whatever you want to do, like, look, it's not negotiable. It doesn't matter if it's just one day. It doesn't matter. Everyone says, yeah, you can take one day and just have a cheat meal. It's not about because it's a day. I know I could take a whole week and eat crazy. The next week I'm gonna bounce right back, but it's not about the one day. That's what I try to tell people and get it through people's heads. I know I could take the day, but I'm not breaking character. I'm not breaking discipline.
for a day. Because then what happens? I break it for a day. A couple weeks later, I break it for another day. And I might now want to break it for two days. Now it's like, ah. Eh. I don't care for today. I don't care. I don't care. I'm not breaking discipline. I'm not going to break pr protocol just for the sake of, oh, because it's a day. This is how I approach everything. This is how I want you guys to approach everything. It doesn't matter if it's for the day, if it's whatever. You're not breaking character. You're not breaking protocol. You're not allowing those vices to, to creep back in your life again. You're not allowing those bad habits to creep in, in your life again. You're on a new path. You're going to get up. You're going to make sure you get your workout in. All right? You're going to turn on that camera. You're going to shoot your content. You're going to start your business. You're going to shoot your feature film. You're going to do your documentary. You're going to create your content. You're going to create your masterpieces. And you're going to practice it every day. Every day. For how long? Who cares? But you're shooting. You're meditating. You're getting your workout. You're going to start jujitsu finally. You're going to get it in. You're going to lead by example. You're going to lead example for your people. You're going to lead example for your family. That's the goal. And these vices, they're going to try to creep in at your highest. When you're about to elevate, the vice is going to come. It's going to try to creep in and it's going to test you. And you're going to have to be ready for it. And it's going to come. They will come. The vices come. The speed bumps come, what you consider a problem is going to come. But when you realize, you know, the problem is, is honestly a gift because it's giving you the lessons within the problem. And you will never know how to truly test, be tested and how far you're willing to go unless the problems come. If everything is smooth sailing, you never know the power of you. You would never know how far you could go. You would never know how much you can endure. You'll never know unless the issues come, unless the vices come. And you can say to yourself, I'm good. Fuck out of here. So stay focused, guys. Stay on your path. Stay strong. More videos are on the way. Let's get it.